Hi guys, welcome back to another Transformers toy review. This time I'm having a look at Power of the Prime's Submarauder with Alchemist Prime and Landmine with Alpha Trion. So uh, with these, they're just three steps to transform them. They come individually, but they're all part of Wave 2. So to show you their packaging, first of all, this one's Submarauder, uh, Decepticon, Decoy Armor, and it fits Alchemist Prime. Mystical Scientist and uh, just some of the artwork on the front here uh, when they come packaged they come packaged so you can actually see this bit come through here so that's quite cool um, and obviously you get your instruction booklet as you do with both uh, landmine here Autobot one based on both of them based on pretenders decoy armor with Alpha Trion, uh, Infinite Knowledge, and obviously at the top it says choose your prime there as well. And uh, side by side, I'll just bring them up so you can have a look at them a bit closer. This is a uh, landmine in his uh, rope, well, his decoy armor, and uh, paint job's really nice on him. Um, yellow plastic at the back, but this front piece is all painted yellow and red and you've got grey in here as well um, grey on the top here with a little little bit of symbol on here and then you get your little prime master here as well for Trium it's, uh, this face painted yellow normal articulation with these guys so their arms move up and down and out and about a bit and their heads rotate around with these ones the arms move backwards and forwards basically what you do is you open this guy up and you've got space in there to put your Prime Master and put them in there. Ooh. There you go. And they sit in there like that. And that's it. And you can see their little face through there a little bit. And he comes with this weapon here, which you can kind of hold in his hand here. Looks far too big for him, but he can kind of wield this gun. And he absolutely stands absolutely fine. He's solid as a rock and then what you can do then is you can also transform him into a gun I flick this piece out here and this piece can go on his back you see so it clips in like that this bit goes forward and you can have them like that just as a gun or you can take your prime master out like this and you fold him up like so. So they've all got like a cool design on and then you can pop them into the um, hands or the feet of different figures like that. So you just pop them out just by doing that and then they can also peg into the back of here so where you've got that in here I'll just peg into the back like that you've got them as a kind of prime armor gun and then if you uh, any other figure like this they can hold them in their hand like that and it looks pretty damn cool very cool looking kind of target master so there is that feature there as well so take those off like that So that is the Alpha Trion and Landmine one. Very cool. And then you've got your Submarauder, your Decepticon one, who is absolutely brilliantly painted. Love it. Um, again, kind of blue plastic backing and sort of side piece here. Uh, same articulation with the arms. And then all the front is painted blue, dark blue. You've got the light purple in here. With the Decepticon symbol in, red eyes, the orange in here. It's all done brilliantly. Um, and again, you get your Prime Master figure here. No paint on this one, unfortunately. Same articulation in the arms and whatnot. And he, you see how he can kind of transform like that. I mean, you could use it as a headmaster like that if you wanted to, with a weird head. And then, again, you get hold of these guys, pop them in. Obviously you can swap them around if you want to, like that. 
and he's in there nice and tight. And then you take hold of this piece off the back here, and he's got himself a kind of harpoon um, trident sort of thing, which works quite nicely. You can wield that, and then you can pop that on his back again. So you can fold that forward, fold this out, and you can have someone hold it like that. Or we can do what we did before, is get out your Prime Master here, fold him up like so, like a little head, get hold of him and peg him on the back using these little fittings here, like that. And then you've got yourself another cool looking gun, or trident in this case. So that is about it really. Um, obviously they're a bit of diddy, you, you saw them alongside the, um, um, what you call it, the Voyager Elite One there, so you can see the size of them. But they are cool little figures and they're gonna, you know, going to be pretty much doing the whole lot of them. Definitely recommend these guys if you see them, well worth picking up. Um, they're just very cool, playable, fun figures, um, you know great fun you know for collectors they're fantastic you can kind of nod to these g1 toys updated versions of them even if they're mini ones and yeah for kids they're just cool aren't they i really do like them but uh, that's it for now guys thanks for watching and see you next time bye bye for now